Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's now Friday the 28th of April and uh, heading home at 10 to 6. Uh, it is 28th of April. It's the last day of our business financial year. Uh, today, as well as bank holiday weekend, of course, so we have Monday off, it's May Day. Um, but yeah, so it's our, um, our what? You shouldn't be coming up there, sneaky monkey. Uh, it's a one way street, but sometimes they sneak up it. Try and catch you out like that. Um, anyway, so yes, end of our financial year. Um, so, stock take this afternoon. <coughs> not my most favourite of tasks. Um, so we only do one stock take a year, so that never really helps because you've got a whole year to make a mess of what <laughs> the stock levels are. Uh, and of course the essential thing is what happens is we have product come in um, in large amounts and it gets put in in the large amounts into our stock control system and then we have people place orders for small amounts, one, two, 15, 30, who knows, uh, and of course so as they go out then the invoicing takes them back out again. Um, the reality is of course that all sorts of weird other things happen in between, that you might get returns, uh, you might get stuff lost that gets credited and the credit note puts the stuff back in stock but you never get it back, uh, and things like that, so quite often um, it's just all a bit wrong, so uh, <laughs> it takes all the time you've got to count everything up on all the pallets of stuff and count all them and then you realize you haven't got the right number at all and you think mm. um and all the little bits and pieces and all sorts so yeah it's it's not the best task um all the green coffee we do uh also needed counting and that's made more complicated because it's in some of it's in sacks which might be partial sacks or full sacks and then we've got bags on the shelf as well so uh, to drag some big scales around and weigh you know pick up a sack, oh it's 50 kilos, not 69 now. <coughs> I've still got me cold as well as you can hear. Um, it's just a persistent cough now instead it's turned into. So, um, kind of still got a bit of a dribbly nose but it comes and goes that. But the cough is persisting quite a lot. It's rather annoying. Um, no Herms parcels today either. Because, um, well just because it wasn't a very lot that I could have taken um, so I just put it to post to save time um, knowing that I've got the stock taken fortunately there was no other big orders this afternoon to warrant taking it so uh, it's a straight run home for us so this week has been uh, well last weekend was good actually it was a nice weekend uh, nice and sunny um, actually got a bit of a tan <laughs> out in the garden over the weekend <coughs> oh, excuse me again dear me and uh, so yeah, got a bit of a tan, I had a good weekend, uh, got the trampoline up, um, completed with the, um, the enclosure bit, and it's also got a basketball hoop on, <laughs> which is pretty cool, and handily also can be removed, so when we're not using it, if it's going to be windy or whatever, it won't blow off, um, but it just sort of clips into itself and hooks up at the top, so that's quite good fun actually, just about to bounce on the, the trampoline and um, throw some um, some balls through the hoop. It came with its own one, we've got plenty of balls kicking about always. So that was pretty good, got it all hooked up. Uh, unfortunately, the bad weather that was forecast for this week has not materialized. So um, it has been cold. Tuesday morning, I had to defrost the car, uh, which is kind of weird, given we're nearly in May. Um, but yeah, it was totally frozen over. Uh, and we did have a little bit of wind, um, but I mean, nothing gale-like, so it wasn't but as it could have been. Um, but the chances of the trampoline going anywhere now are very, very small indeed, given the fact it's got four breeze blocks <laughs> on the legs. It's got um, four ground screws that I got a new fixing kit, so four ground screws attached and strapping it down. It's got three of the big metal pins that I got holding it down. And then I've started bringing from work some old sash window counterweights. Uh, I think these are about 14 kilos a piece, so they're heavy chunks they are, <coughs> and of course they've got some uh, some rope on them already, so 
and I started tying those to the bottom of the legs as well to add a bit of downforce. So um, I'm pretty much hoping that if uh, if there's any chance of there being any more wind, or as bad as the gales were back in February, this one is not going anywhere. Um, but I think definitely what we'll do in winter as well is um, we'll probably bring it to the side of the house and keep it. He's back. <laughs> it's been quiet all week. It is what I've do the vlog. Stop and buckling, naughty boy. Um, so yeah, um, it's not going anywhere at the moment. And then this week at work, it's been all right. It's been, yeah, not too much. There's lots of just sort of stuff going on at the moment at work. To be honest, that's really um, sort of not so great. Putting me in a bit of a melancholy mood, to be honest. Uh, but at the same point, I'm getting to the point now where I'm kind of like getting over a bit of the fact that. Yeah, stuff is going to happen, and I'm just going to like, I'm going to put up with a bit, and so is everyone else. So um, that side of things is all right. Um, I uh, the other night was it Wednesday night? Wednesday night was um, I follow on Twitter, and I'm not quite sure I came across it. I think someone on follow must have retweeted the account something, but it's an account that really, basically, just is based on the Black Adder. Um, series, so I don't know if anyone has watched. I mean, everyone's probably heard of Blackadder, really. So, um, obviously, the main ones is uh, Rowan Atkinson, um, Hugh Laurie, um, and also um, Tony Robinson. Um, I can't actually remember that. Where are you going now, Van? You nearly crashed into that car, you loon. Nut job. Um, so yeah, the Blackadder series complete, and it just retreats different things and has some funny things about it, which um, is good. I quite like following the account; it's all good fun. And then um, they also arranged though, so it's at Pitch Black Steed is the Twitter account who does all the sort of retweeting of Blackadder-based stuff and sort of um, memories of quotes and things. But um, they actually organised like a tweet event with the actress who played. Kate in two of the series, so the second series and the fourth series. Um, the funny thing about Kate was because she'd had to pretend to be a man, she was actually called Bob. <coughs> so in the second series, she, she, she'd gone to London um, because the family was so poor out in the countryside that needed the money. So she'd gone to London to earn money as a manservant, but you could only be a manservant as a man. Uh, so she had to pretend to be a boy to be Blackadder's manservant, you see. So, um, you know, so when she first meets him, she's like, you're a fine looking fella, what's your name? Kate. And he's like, Kate? Funny name for a boy. And she's like, oh, oh it's, it, it's short for Bob. <laughs> so um, that's it, Bob. Uh, and uh, so the actress did it, and I'd not realised she, she'd been in Brookside and all sorts of things afterwards. Uh, and I'd never re really linked the two, that because I recognised her from other things, but never realised that she was also the one who it was Kate in that. But it was a long time ago. Um, so he did like a, a tweet, um, ask questions of her. Uh, now it's Gabby Gabriella, I think it is her actual act, her name, um, the actress. Um, so that was quite, it was really good fun. I, I watched through all the questions people asked. Uh, I asked my own one as well, which was um, if her, um, if I knew if she got kids, if her children watched uh, watched it. And apparently, apparently a boy is of the age where he just finds it faintly embarrassing that she's an actress. <laughs> Probably gets ribbed at school and things. So, um, but, so that was quite funny. But yeah, it was really good because you did answer everyone who asked questions of her about playing in the series or whatever so um yeah i thoroughly enjoyed that on wednesday night it was a new interesting variation on twitter but i thought it was very clever that the people who do this sort of blackadder themed account also um make the effort to you know made the effort to you know find the actress and see if she'd, she'd do like a little question and that's a thing for fun so yeah i was very thoroughly impressed with that um Whatever things have been happening today, uh, I also managed to fit in this morning, um, just because I had a delivery and it was in the same direction, and I, I've for quite some time built up a massive stockpile of scrap metal again from stripping stuff down, uh, and not really got around to taking it to get rid of it. So I thought, right, 
do that today because I'm going in the same direction with delivery. So I piled the, the van up with more. <coughs> no, it's fine, don't mind me. Uh, no, it's not done that for a while. Um, the little chuggy chug. So, uh, yeah, loaded the van up with all my bits of scrap and whatever else and when I took it. Uh, and uh, yeah, got a decent amount of cash again for that. So that was a well worthwhile trip. Oh, Ooh. No, he's going to be all right. I'm just trying to decide if he was going to do the, the chugga chug. My poor old car. Uh, so, yes, um, got that all done as well. So, that was pretty good. Um, YouTube, I've been watching a fair bit actually. Again, I've been trying to catch up where I can. Um, it can be a bit hit and miss, you know, but I. Uh, I do <coughs> when I find the time and I'm not being badgered to do other things trying to, to get on and watch a few. So I've um, been trying to keep up with my subs. Um, can't think which ones I've been watching the most this week, but I've, I've been trying to keep up with most of them. It is getting very, very crowded in my um, subscription inbox now because the youngest and his little subscribing to all these FGTV and um, Dennis Daly and Alex and Coral uh, and everything. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, big news, guys. It's amazing. Dennis Daly and Coral have moved in. They're, they're, shared a ha they're sharing a house. Uh, not in together like that sort of thing, I don't think, but in as in some guys, you know, sharing the cost of a house by all living together uh, and mysteriously Alex who is British has moved over to Canada to live, <laughs> live in there with them as well I don't know if that's a permanent arrangement or if he's just staying over for a while just a bit like uh, having some time out over there so Alex and move over so the three of them who, who would all do like YouTube videos of Roblox mostly but other gaming videos and different things um, different games so they're all in a house together they did a um, little house tour of their their little bachelor pad sort of thing um, which was pretty funny actually as well um, so that's pretty cool actually um, I'm gonna be <laughs> funny I berate I berate the, the my youngest lad for uh, for subscribing to all these channels well, sometimes I watch more of the the damn youtubers he watches than he does <laughs> he's sat on playing on his iPad or whatever else and it's on telly and I'm sat there glued to all the gameplay footage or whatever uh, let's see Ellis and Colby are set out, <coughs> doing whatever. <laughs> so I've got some news from Richard and Ellis, um, just as I get parked up. I can't think of anything else particularly interesting that's happened, to be honest. I'll probably remember it all later as usual, but I've got a good portion of it done, I think. A reasonable amount, anyway. So we'll... Um, We'll consult the magic watch now for Richard's amazing words. Can't remember all of them. Uh, oh, Dennis Daly's just uploaded something new. <coughs> of course he has. Orange today is the text of Richard. Uh, angry dash cam man uh, again. Yeah, well, didn't we do that last week? Was he doing another one? I don't know. Um, oh, the tour to Yorkshire. Yes, well, I did that video. The... Um, speeded up drive to work for Wednesday morning, I think that was, um, which, um, yes, I shamelessly stole Bob's idea as well of uh, <laughs> um, so pausing the footage, well, no, pausing the audio a bit. Well, it's not quite the same as Bob's anyway, but uh, it seemed like a good bit because I went past the speed camera down at Booth Time. No, I wasn't going fast at all because we were in a massive queue, so we are going very slow. Plus, you'll actually notice, if you look carefully, he wasn't actually filming us coming down. It was the guys going up. Um, because there's no camera out the back windows and when I went past I looked and you see the one that pops out above the windscreen uh, in those so um, yep uh, but that was uh, <coughs> come back uh, of course because you saw on the footage you perhaps seen there's a plethora of yellow bikes and old bikes that have been painted touring the streets and whatever else because the tour to Yorkshire is coming up um, over these, it's already started. It's in Scarborough today. I think it's coming over anyway. <coughs> so, 
Yes, the tour to Yorkshire, uh, and whereabouts are you singing? My, well, it passes through Queensbury, so just up the way, obviously, what I drive through Queensbury Crossroads. So we may head up and have a look, I don't know. Um, I'll see what we're doing and what the weather's like, really. I don't know. I, I, hopefully, it's going to be nice weather, but we'll see. The nasty never we had, weather, never, never the weather. Nasty weather we had this week and the nice weather we'll be having next week. Well, yes, that's just it, really, isn't it? It's been cold this, after it was lovely last weekend, it's been cold this week, but I'm kind of hoping it picks up this weekend because I'll be cheesed off if I go back to work Tuesday and it's all nice and hot and I'm at work and, well, we've had the the bank holiday weekend, it's cold and miserable. <clears throat> the death of the Beano, car Beano cartoonist called Leo Baxendale. I never knew he was called that. I did we used to read the bit, you know, as a, as a lad when I was a boy. And it used to be good, so that's sad that he's died. Um, Prime Minister's question taking a two-month break for the election. Pff, just lazy, isn't it, really, to be honest? I think they should answer questions all the time, not have a break just because there's some election going on. A little rubbish. So, um, yes, there you are. Richard's question is very good. So, that's it now. I am done. So, um, <laughs> have a... <laughs> Have a good weekend, bank holiday weekend, if you're doing something good on the bank holiday, a uh, week next week, and I'll catch you in next week's coffee vlog. Okay, see ya.